Good morning, it's Saturday and welcome to Sabah's Way of Life. Today I am going to be talking about the physics of a bottoms up movement. This is very important because it applies to everything in our lives. I'm not talking just about how you perceive that word, bottoms up movement, some revolutionary movement. Oh, they never work. It's not that. I'm t they don't work or they haven't worked up till now effectively because those that were working within those movements didn't understand certain laws of physics which are which is steeped in system science now I'm, I like to give examples so it's not just a case of me reading a text and then saying this is what I've read I like to give examples which support the theory that I have learned and I'm talking about this in context with the truth freedom health movement which I am day by day getting more and more involved in because the knowledge I'm gaining on, on the actual science behind truth, freedom, health, which is all, all one, it's all one particle, so to speak, is phenomenal. I just wish that every child was taught this in school. So I'm just going to give you an example because it's impossible for me to articulate it all to you right now. And I'm also learning at the same time. So as time goes on, I can explain this more for those of you who want to expand your consciousness. This is all about consciousness expansion. This is what bottoms up movements are. So I'm just going to give you an example of um, let me just give you an example of can't believe it. It's raining now. I'm digressing, but it was warm this morning and now I've got a roll neck on. So if you imagine, we all know this um, example that people use of a pot of water, a saucepan of water that you put onto the boil and you put it onto heat and nothing happens for quite some time. And then suddenly you see these particles of bubble moving around on the surface in some random way. And then you suddenly find, and it happens quite quickly when there reaches a certain point, a temperature, a certain temperature. This is all a metaphor. When it reaches a certain temperature, then suddenly there's a transition that takes place where the water starts to boil and everything looks very uniform inside the um, saucepan. The, the, the bubbles are all uniform and everything is starting to boil. And then, of course, it evaporates and you see steam coming out. Now, this is what I want to explain an example of. Um, the, the way in which human beings, we will attain our freedom, can never be from the approach that we're seeing now all over the world of power, profit and control, which is a top-down system. So the idea behind it is we'll get to the top, and then we'll disperse all the knowledge down to the bottom, to all the working class. And this is also, um, I've learned a lot of this from the education I'm learning from the Truth, Freedom, Health movement of Dr. Shiva Ayodharai. But there's a lot of that information that is very interconnected with the work of Jacques Ellul that I've been studying on the technological society. And that was another individual called Sam Gerrans where I got this information from. That book is amazing. And in that book, the technological society, they talk about the means to the end, which is exactly what I learned in one of the learning videos with Dr. Shiva Ayodharai. And it's all starting to interconnect and make sense. You see, the thing is, with a bottoms up movement, you've all heard of the term means to an end. With a bottoms up movement, what you're slowly doing is from, from the very base is that you're boiling the water and then the journey towards that water boiling, going to randomness 
and then suddenly becoming a self-organizing system where it suddenly starts to boil. That journey is the means to reach the end goal, which is freedom. And that is the only way a successful bottoms up movement works. And it starts with one individual person. So if you think about the, I've explained to you about systems that we, everything in the universe, including ourselves, there is a, a very clear system which is made up of three different elements, which are transport, conversion, and structure. Now, in old science, in going back to Ayurveda and Siddha, um, and also arguably Chinese medicine, which actually came from Siddha in India, it is understood, and the sages of old, we're going thousands of years, they were system scientists, and they understood the human body as a system. And they understood that people had elements of transport movement, and they had elements of conversion, which was known as bitta, transport known as vata, and they had elements of storage in them, which is kapha. Those of you who are involved in Ayurveda would, would understand that. Just that simple theory. So the point I'm trying to make is that with a bottoms up movement, I don't want to digress into that subject um, right now, but with a bottoms up movement, it starts with you as an individual. So with me as an individual, using that element of movement from within me to create to create an energy which is then going to um, emanate to the community. How? Not by just doing nothing, by me doing the same thing each day consistently. And I'm going to give you an example and then educating others on how to think this way. And what happens is when there are a community of truth tellers, actually, that's what a real guru is. I can't remember the exact um, translation of a guru, but it is somebody who tells the truth and then lightens, tr the truth and light, I think, are involved. But anyway, I'll come back to that another time. Just can't remember the exact um, translation. But that's what a real, real guru is. But it's it's not limited to one. So when you, cr when you create and educate others, we all become our a guru. And then that's when the pot starts to boil. And that's when change takes place. And what I want to give you an example of, and that and no revolution has really worked to that highest degree because they didn't understand the science. Even those revolutions that almost worked, there was a one in Russia and that failed because they decided to take the top down approach, which is let's get all the power for ourselves first and then we'll disperse it down. That, that's, that's the end justifying the means. No, it's always the means and the end that are unified. So therefore, the means is the journey to get to that end goal. And I want to give you an example of, of today. We are, we know with the bottoms up movement is what each individual does every single day. Whatever that movement is, that you might be involved in. For me, truth, freedom and health in today's world is the, are the only three elements which are united that are important. And I want to find whatever way I can to educate others on understanding the truth behind what's happening around us, to have the freedom to speak and be who we are without censorship. And also, as you all know, to ensure that you are healthy and to understand how to become healthy from a systems perspective, which is the inverse of the way we are taught, we, we have been led to believe reductionist medicine, wartime medicine, just what they still use. It's so archaic, it's unbelievable to break everything down in its parts rather than looking at a body as a system. And this isn't just theory, I've proven it with myself and many others who I've seen who are adopting the same approach. There's no question that that is the way to good health because health is not just about your body health it's about your mental health how you think how you're not 
forget the word mental health from mainstream the ability to think clearly with clarity almost t telepathy which incidentally was the way we used to communicate before some weird thing happened god knows how long ago and we developed this jaw to be able to speak um, and then we think language is communication oh I, I could talk about that another time but what i want to go back to is right now so i have started handing out leaflets and i've decided i've no i now that i know the science i have gone out every morning or every other morning whether it's walking to my local village whether it's walking to the train station or whether it's consciously walking further afield but i have armed with me in my bag i have these leaflets um from true freedom health here and here and there's different types of leaflets really the idea is that we want people to come to the orientation to listen to Dr Shiva speak and explain it to you but I'm explaining to you so I do this every day I go to the gym two or three times a week because I love my spin classes when I go I take this with me and there's a table when you walk into the gym area it's in a college and when you walk up towards the the actual spin class room their tables and whenever I go up I take some of these and I put them down because I just want people to see them to see them you're put you're putting this into their mind because the way we are today we can't think for ourselves so we have to help people see things visually to be able to absorb and not just once but twice thrice four five times and that's when it really clicks isn't it a shame that we're like that that we just aren't able to discern very quickly what makes sense and what doesn't because we've been brainwashed into being an ideology to think in a certain way which is what religions do I'm not saying that religions are wrong it's how they've been hijacked to create rules to make you think in a certain way dictatorship right i'm digressing now and this is why everybody said yes to the jab yes oh yes 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 because they've been brainwashed and conditioned from birth and even before birth that you will follow this rule it's slavery slave mind you have a slave mind so uh, um, so I've done this now this is what happened today this is how these things work I was at the spin class today I dropped off these leaflets again I left them on the table left them there similar people same people some new people come in every day I'm now walking back home and there was a lady on her bike who was also in the spin class but she left the class early for some really strange reason I didn't know and I saw her cycling back and I crossed over the road and I said hi her name is Evelyn I said Evelyn what happened in the spin class today are you making up for that spin class now on your bike she said well the lady next door to me was sneezing like mad and I did not want to catch anything from her so I stayed quiet and listened and I said she only had a few coughs then she went on to explain she says Saba I have been healthy all my life and since I took the jabs I have been in hospital every five minutes I have asthma I can't breathe my eyes are puffing up and she said I'm so scared I'm trying to get myself healthy and I don't want to catch what whatever this girl had so I was proceeding to explain to her about the germ theory because it's all nonsense that you catch something from someone next door it's a frequency and I started talking about it's a frequency that you catch she said yes yes I want to raise my frequency and that is where I realized that she understood something was wrong and she needed help and she needed to be geared towards the immune system how do i know that because i've educated myself on this since 2020 and since 2012 when i healed from crohn's 2020 when dr shiva either i was who is an expert on the immune system expert in many fields was talking about it and i was telling everyone so i said evelyn i took this out this is the point i want to make I took it out of my bag i said you have got to watch the work of this man and come to the orientation because he's an expert on the immune system and this was her response oh yes I know about him I said do you she said yes haven't you seen the leaflets in the college on the table I've seen it a couple of times I should have picked it up and she picked it up off me she looked at it folded it carefully and put it in her pocket I said don't throw that away she said no I won't that's 
how it works. It's like, as Dr. Shiva says, it's viscous. It's like treacle and it sticks. It's slow. It's slow to build these movements, but it sticks because people, really, there is nothing on this earth. There is nothing that people cannot relate to in truth, freedom and health. They are the essence elements of this earth because we're made of that truth freedom health truth is the conversion element that we are freedom is the movement element that we are and the health is in 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 this in this terms relates to the structural element who we are so everything about truth freedom health is what humanity is inspired by lives by and sur not just survives but thrives by so in her case it was the health element that had gone off the off the rails but she then realized the censorship of the when I explained it to her and that her freedom was also being suppressed see how they're all connected and as a result she wanted to know the truth which is converting it's a conversion process which is an energy conversion from what she understands now her frequency to the frequency she wants to become at she's already there those are the people and there are lots of them. There are millions of these people that just need our help. They're waiting for us to find them. When I go to the station in the mornings and I look at people, their faces are forlorn. They look dead. They look completely depressed and demoralized and helplessness. And that helplessness is because they have seen the shit that's going on on the television, the wars, what's happening in Palestine and, and all the not the stuff that's coming in of dead babies, bodies and heads and, and, and politicians all lying. They have, it's a psyop deliberate psyop by those four companies that run the entire media which are all the elite the swarm who are putting it into your brain so that you develop this learned helplessness there's nothing we can do they understand the science of systems and they're using a top-down approach a technological society approach when you understand this and then you understand the most powerful approach is bottoms up because when that treacle, as it spreads, it sticks, it sticks and it ain't going anywhere. And it's global. Slower, it's global. Theirs is so shaky that it's starting to topple now. And all those people that are still buying into that power profit control, they will topple with it. It's going to implode. And those, those people who are working with treacle where you're dropping that stone in the water and just talking to people and it's spreading and, and, and the actual waves that are created. It is real science. The, the consciousness, the waves that are created are spreading like this. You can't destroy that. And as it keeps spreading, the more it spreads, think about this. Think about this, this uh, pyramid of, of, sh of sugar cubes on water right? It's, they're floating on water. And then you're throwing these stones in the water to wake people up. And as the, as the waves spread, the circles grow and grow and grow and grow. And the sugar cubes start falling. The sugar cubes are the elite swarm. They start melting into the water. And eventually, when it's enough, they will implode. And it will, they'll all just melt away as this lovely treacle, viscous waves of, 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 of truth, freedom and health grow worldwide. That is what's happening. Do you understand? That is why a bottoms up movement is so important. And that is why you absolutely must. If you can, those in the UK come to the orientation. It's at four o'clock. It's on Zoom. And I'm going to put it down in my notes below, in the description below. Come to this and listen and grow and learn. Just even if you just want to come and educate yourself, educate your mind. Understand that politics is absolutely at the heart of our, our, of who we are. We have to understand the politics behind truth, freedom and health to take charge, empower ourselves. It comes from action, action. None of this would have happened had I not got off up my bottom, off my bottom, out of the door and handing these things out. And at the same time, educating, wherever possible, educating myself. 
get off the television, get off the radio, get it up, get off that. Be very discerning about what you watch and educate yourself because you have a duty of care to do that, to educate your children and their children who are going to be living in a technological society as 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 homogenized robots and I'm not just talking metaphorically that's what they're trying to do merge humans with robots so that they wipe us out but that's not going to happen so I hope you understood what I've said go back and listen to it again and read the notes below that I'll put up later have a good day